Hello and welcome back to Haslam Practice Field here in Knoxville. I'm Ryan Sylvia. This is Noah Taylor. We are with VolReport.com on the Rivals Network and fall camp continues as we inch closer and closer to football season. September 2nd, the Vols will face off with Virginia and Nashville to get things started. But today we were able to view a portion of fall practice right here behind us along with talking to coach Brian Jean-Marie, the linebackers coach and five defensive players. So Noah, what was your biggest takeaway from the guys we were able to talk to? I know we talked about it already this week. Uh, obviously we're one week into spring practice or fall practice almost, but it's depth. There's been a lot of talk about depth and, and a big part of that is the linebacker room. They, they, they finally kind of seem to have that there. One of the guys that's gonna try to get on the field a little bit this season is Arian Carter. You know, he was kind of one of the crown jewels of this Tennessee recruiting class. It came down to the wire, his recruitment, he uh, picked the balls over Alabama. That was a huge recruiting win for Tennessee. So we got to talk to him today and, and Brian G. Marie was very complimentary of him as being a guy that they're throwing into tough situations early. You know, they're not coddling him at all. And his ability to just kind of learn from his mistakes quickly has been something that's kind of stuck out. And I, I think that was something the coaching staff seemed really high on, you know, even dating back to the spring and especially right now and getting to talk to him a little bit today. He seems like a guy that's very eager to get on the field and just kind of has this, the right mindset to be able to, to make an impact early in a linebacker's room that I think will be one of the strengths of this Tennessee team. Yeah, Aaron Carter, a guy that it came down to kind of the last minute, ended up coming to Tennessee and he said at his press conference today, they, they asked, he, got, he was asked, Hey, like, how much do you expect to play this year? And he, he gave the, the good answer, which is it's not up to me, but I'm going to do everything I can to prove to the coaches that they can trust me out there. So he's a guy that provides depth to that linebacker room. Another spot that has a lot of depth is up front on the defensive line. Talked to Elijah Herring, linebacker, but he was very complimentary of those guys up front, saying that the defensive line, they're freaks of nature and that there is just scary talent at the Leo position as well. And of course, at defensive end, and he listed off a, a, num a number of guys, and he was very impressed with kind of how they were. He's, the question was, who has stood out to you? And he said, just flat out the whole defensive line, which will really help Tennessee's defense. Of course, you get to the quarterback, that's gonna help your secondary, that's gonna help everything. They were good stopping the run last year, and it looks like they're in a position again to make a big impact. But looking at the field, Noah, was there anything that stood out to you today? Um, you know, we obviously getting shorter periods as we get deeper yeah. into fall camp, which is to be expected. But uh, got to see a little bit of the receivers today. Squirrel White was a guy that, that was not here yesterday and was out there today, which was good to see because you never want to hear anything about injuries with your team, but especially this early in fall camp. But having a guy like that who's going to be a key contributor for this team, we saw him out here the other day when we did get to see deep more into practice. And he was a guy that was on the first team rotation with the receivers. So obviously a guy that came on last year contributed a lot in the second half of the season, expect to do that again this year. If you're a Tennessee fan and obviously this coaching staff, you're really glad to see him back out on the field and, and being able to practice today. Yeah, it's for a white back in full action. There's no official word on why he was missing from the first periods of practice yesterday, but he was back. So any, any rumors that might've been going out there are dispelled as he was back out. As you said, was with the first team the first day of fall camp. We'll see where he ends up on the depth chart by the time the season begins in a little less than a month. But until then, make sure you're covered with fall camp content. Subscribe to the YouTube right below. And make sure you check out fallreport.com for our written content. And we have great discussions going on on the message board. Links to everything is in the bio or in the description. Thank you for watching.